Hey, and uh, I'm going to open Lomax Lasting Software. So in the menu, you have a laser, you know, choose that one, and the interface will pop out. You have this BMW, you know, mode that you can choose. It's, uh, you know, for simple Titan, it's, it's going to be all right. And if you want to see more details, choose gray. And uh, zoom in, zoom out, you know, crop, cut. And uh, let me see how much detail I can get. And uh, let me see. All right. Mm, so I think it's all right. And uh, the result shall be amazing. And uh, then I'm going to sense the power energy. And right now I'm going to, I'm going to go with 250. Uh, when it is done, I'm going to hit export. I choose destination, the save the file. It's pretty simple. And if you want to, you know, do some logo, pretty simple Python, you know, and uh, we strongly suggest, uh, you know, you use uh, uh, this BMW mode. So I delete that one, choose the new one, and um, I'm choosing this MBA logo, and uh, did a little bit of adjustment, and uh, then you set the power, and uh, I will go with 300 maybe this time. And uh, then I click on picture and expose the file to the desktop. That's it. It's pretty, pretty simple. So, you know, try as many as uh, many pictures as possible. So that you get some, you know, amazing result. And select the details, you, how sharp it can be, you want to be. And uh, you can always go check a lot of, you know, high trends, uh, you know, Google pictures and everything. It will be amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up, guys? So about this laser engraving thing, this case, I'm going to assemble it. And first thing, I hope you guys can, you know, uh, slide it down a little bit of the machine. And then uh, this is the T-shaped nut. And so this is a long screw, actually not that long. And uh, you put uh, them together before you actually assemble it. All right. So that uh, it will be easier. And uh, this is the T-shaped, make it a vertical. And so this is like a slot, and you can put it inside. I'm going to do it. Take a look. All right, and it goes. Uh, all right, I put it inside. All right, and so this is how it goes. And now I'm going to use this wrench to screw it. Take a look. All right, and it is set. As you can, it is really, really firm, and tightly together. Do not to put it upside down. You might, you know, burn this motherboard because of this short circuit. And uh, I'm going to put it back right now. Uh, also, remember that it's not hot swap. You you cannot, you know, uh, insert it, you know, assemble it, dismantle it with the power on. Remember, you know, power out. And this is the laser engraving and part uh, with just two screws and use the wrench. You know, really, really simple. And I won't, you know, elaborate on this anymore. All right, so this is the laser engraving part. And so as you can see, we actually installed this, uh, you know, head. And uh, this is the box, in laser engraving box. And so do not try to, you know, do it upside down, you know. And at the same time, it didn't support the house map. So do not, you know, uh, plug in or plug out, you know, with this power on. Right now it's power off. I'm going to do this power on thing. And if you see clearly, and you will see, I have used this, uh, I have used this, uh, you know, um, clips to place this, uh, you know, uh, wood plate really, really tight, and it won't move around. And uh, this is a laser, you know, head with a fan, you know, goes around. Because this is like high voltage, so a lot of energy going on, and it can be a little bit dangerous sometimes. So remember to put it into a really, you know, stable place and with enough, you know, uh, ventilation, and uh, you know, because there will be smoke out of this, and you will, <laughs> you will know when you are actually, you know, use it. And so this is the right uh, goggle, and uh, remember to wear it because this. Uh, you know, light, super strong, and in my, you know, the burning eyes, you know, uh, damage, eyes damage. And uh, let's see this uh, interface. Right now, is this uh, laser engraving interface. This is like when you plug in, it will pop out directly. You don't have to flash or 
upgrade anything. And the, the print part, you choose the file, and there is not a lot to talk about in this one. And we're going to hit back. All right. So next one, and you see, let me see. And the setting, actually, this one, not to lots of things to talk. And uh, let me see this one. All right. And this is the part so that we're going to do this, uh, you know, work or job. And uh, this is, you see, X, Y, Z, you know, X is uh, step drivers. And this is the step driver, the value you are going to set for the each, you know, movement. Right now, I'm with one, and then five, then ten, and you do this X, Y, Z. So this part is about this focal length adjustment that you need to set, you know, the right focal length so that, uh, you know, you'll get enough energy, enough, you know, uh, light or anything. Uh, it will, you know, burn this uh, wood, wood plate and uh, really, really beautiful, you know, and accurate, precise. And this is um, you know, on and off of the laser, laser engraving. Uh, right now, it is off. I'm going to hit on. All right. And you will see this, uh, you know, light uh, spot goes there. And I'm wearing this, uh, you know, uh, Go go, and this is an extra one, and always remember to wear one. And it is not just for safety, and there is also another reason for this. And for example, you have to you know adjust the focal length, right? And so with this naked eye, and you won't see clearly because the light is super strong. And with this goggle inside, and I'm going to select a filter, and so you are going to change actually the height and everything and so you will see more accurate you know you will set more accurately precisely for this focal length and that's the reason why we strongly suggest you this one and right now and i'm going i'm going to go ahead with this setting and you take a look all right and this is the thing and uh, this is the home i'm going to put this laser you know, has in the middle or something. I'm going to set the value five, and I'm going to move this. A few moments later. All right, and so right now I'm going to hit this, uh, you know, laser engraving, you know, switch up, and you will see on this, uh, you know, spot, right? And uh, I, I, I'm wearing this, uh, you know, goggle thing. I can see it is not a spot. It's like a, you know, a line. So I'm going to check. Adjust a little bit. I'm going to hit this Z axis down. All right, all right. Well, right now it is pretty beautiful. I'm going to hit a little bit more. All right, now it is amazing, but it's too much. So I'm going to change this uh, value thing. I'm going to change it to one. I'm going to do a little bit, you know, micro adjustment. I'm going to hit up a little bit. All right, all right, all right. A few moments later. So right now I can you know see it is a really strong you know spot. It is really small and at the same time it is really strong and that is when I think we are starting. We are ready to you know print our project, and we're gonna hit print. I'm gonna find the file that I have you know adjusted previously. All right, this is like the finished product of uh, you know this. Uh, a uh, laser engraver and you can see I'm a big fan of you know basketball and I play basketball and this is the AB NBA icon and if you see clearly and uh, I set the power maybe too strong and I said it's 150 so this one is like a three uh, 250 and uh, this one is still too strong and uh, this is Kobe Bryant and I said it's uh, like uh, you know less than you know 200 and uh, so you have to try like a lot of times so to get this uh, amazing you know result and uh, again thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time